Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I track calories and macros. Happy Friday, it is Friday, so I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about my week, my weigh-in, and we're gonna talk about this week's WW workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a weigh-in every Friday and I do upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where I will link nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macros and calories. This is what I followed last year and lost 90 pounds. This is also what I continue to do to lose almost 140 pounds and maintain that weight loss. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability or if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and of course my Facebook group. Come on over, join us. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's jump into my week, my weigh-in, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. We had a really rough week. I We lost our dog, Diesel, on Saturday, March 25th. You know Diesel. He's always the sweet thing sitting in the background on the dog bed. So it's been a really rough week for us. It was hard for me to come in and film today's video. Knowing that I wouldn't see him in the background in my future videos is, is really devastating. If you didn't know, Diesel suffered from quite a few medical problems. And over the last couple of weeks, his back leg was pretty swollen. He has quite a large mass on his side that he's had for a couple of years. We're pretty sure that it's some type of tumor, maybe not a cancerous tumor, but some type of tumor. That tumor spread and caused a blockage in his lymphatic system, which caused his leg to swell. And it got progressively worse over the course of a couple weeks. It was getting to the point where his other back leg, the foot was becoming swollen as well, so the blockage was spreading. He wasn't able to get up on his own. We actually had to help him get up, and he had quite a few open wounds from putting all of his weight and laying on one side of his body. It was very devastating, and we had to make the hard decision because we love him so much and for his quality of life that we had to let him go. It was the hardest decision that we've ever had to make. We had a hospice home, we had a home hospice vet come to our home. Diesel laid his head on my lap and we saw him cross over the Rainbow Bridge and get his wings. We miss him every single day, but we know that we made the right decision and Diesel knows how much we truly love him. So it's been a rough week for our entire family. And if you remember, Lola also was diagnosed with lymphoma, cancer about a month and a half ago. Thank goodness she's in full remission from chemo, but we don't know how long that remission's going to last. So it's been a very, very rough week for us. Sorry, I, I'm trying not to be emotional, but this is my reality right now. Lucky for me, I am not an emotional eater. In fact, when I'm sad or stressed out, I'm not hungry. So I actually had a really hard time even getting in my calories for a couple of days post the loss of diesel. Luckily, my appetite is returning a little bit and I'm trying to get back to normal life, doing my workouts, trying to focus on reaching my calories and my protein every day, but this week has just been a week of sadness. The focus prior to losing Diesel was on Diesel. He had cheeseburgers and fries on Saturday before the hospice vet came out, and since his passing, we've just focused on getting back to normal and having a normal life. So before I talk more about my week, I wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody who's reached out to me, whether it's in my Facebook group, on Instagram, on Facebook, and sent your condolences. I did a little memorial for Diesel through the hospice center that came out for his passing. I will link that down below if you wanna light a candle for him. And my heart is so full with the hundreds upon hundreds of you that have went and left such a sweet comment and lit a candle for my boy for his passing. It seriously makes Troy and I so happy and it makes us so fulfilled how much Diesel was loved by all of you. I mean, if you followed me since the beginning, he's been in your life for the last several years and like us, you love him. He's such a sweet, he's such a sweet dog that you've grown attached to him as well. So thank you so much, 
so, so much for all of your love and support. It seriously means the world to our family. Other than the sadness, I worked on getting my exercise in this week. And again, just getting back to what's our new normal life after losing diesel. I also really focused on making sure that I ate my protein this week because it made me feel a little more normal. So I focused on the things that made my life feel normal. I don't really have a whole lot more about my week. So I want to actually jump into the workshop topic before I share with you this week's weigh in. This week's workshop topic is really, really important. This is a question I get asked all the time from coaching clients or I get DM'd about or see on my YouTube comment section and that is how do I handle a small weight gain on the scale? Our expectation is that our weight loss does this. It just goes down. If we do what we're supposed to do, our weight should go down. The reality is our weight loss is this. Whether we make good decisions or not, the expectation is definitely not the reality. The reality is we're going to have weight fluctuations and this includes small weight gains or otherwise known as fluctuations on the scale. To be honest, not every weight gain or fluctuation even needs a response from you. Weight fluctuation is totally normal. Things that can impact this are sodium, the foods that we're eating, exercise, being sore from working out. There are so many different factors that can impact fluctuations on the scale. You need to set an action plan for when this happens because it's going to happen in several times throughout your weight loss journey. Try this, decide what amount of weight gain will activate your plan. Maybe it's three or more pounds. Brainstorm simple healthy behaviors that helped you lose weight in the past. Maybe planning your dinners ahead of time, pre-tracking meals before eating out, switching up your activity routine, going to bed by 11 p.m., attending your workshops and reflecting on past success. Pick one or two that you're most likely to do and enjoy and then write out a detailed plan. If I gain three or more pounds, I will plan three weeknight dinners and commit to my next two workshops. Having a weight gain or weight fluctuation threshold is really important, especially as you get into maintenance. I know for me that I'm going to allow myself about a five pound window in either direction, losing five additional pounds, gaining five pounds. Once that five pound threshold is hit, it is back to action and making sure that it doesn't go over that five pound mark. That's when we get into trouble and that's when we can really start to gain weight back that we've worked so hard losing. Gaining weight when you're trying to lose weight absolutely stinks. It's okay to feel annoyed, frustrated, worried, but don't use that in a negative way for your overall weight loss journey. Remember, in right, put in the forefront of your mind that weight fluctuation is normal and you should expect it. But you can plan ahead on how you're going to respond. And of course, there's no set amount of weight gain for each person. It's individual. Like I said, I gave myself a five pound window. Some people give themselves less, some people give themselves more. There's a difference between weight gain and fluctuation. If you see the scale go up week after week after week, that's likely a weight gain. Where you see the scale go up one day, down the next day, maybe up one week, down the next week, that is considered to be a fluctuation and not something you need to take immediate action on. It's really important to know the difference between weight gain and weight fluctuation. If you see that weight fluctuation or even a weight gain, think back on the things that you did in the past that led to success and re-implement those into your weight loss journey. I also want to share some really interesting three fast facts from Weight Watchers. Responding to weight gains in a hot state can cause us to overreact to overcorrect or give up. Creating a plan for how to respond ahead of time when we're in a cold state can help us reverse small weight gains. And number three, a plan that leans into our strengths and go-to healthy behaviors helps us follow through with more confidence. The thing with weight gain or weight fluctuations is have an action plan in place. Have a threshold that you're not going to exceed in either direction, kind of like my five pound threshold. And make sure that you understand that weight fluctuation is normal. Don't beat yourself up. And remember, you can't gain one, two, three pounds overnight, even in a weekend or a week. It is very unlikely that that is actual weight gain or fat gain. It's a fluctuation. And once you realize that there's a difference between weight gain and weight fluctuation, that number on the scale isn't going to have the same effect on you. I can fluctuate up to three pounds overnight. And when I see that number on the scale, I just brush it off because I know that's a fluctuation that I didn't gain three pounds of fat overnight. And once you understand all of that, those fluctuations and weight loss, not doing this, but doing this becomes a little bit easier to handle. So I really like this topic. And like I said, I get asked about this all the time, or I have coaching clients freak out when they see the scale go up at all. It's normal. Take a deep breath, continue going, don't pull back on your calories, continue doing what you're doing, and eventually, scientifically, the scale's going to catch up. But like I said, I really like this topic and I think it's important to have those action plans in place and to understand the difference between weight gain 
in weight fluctuation. Speaking of weight gain, weight fluctuation, weight loss, let's go ahead and jump into this week's weigh-in. Like I mentioned, it's been a rough week. So I didn't get in my calories every single day. So when I stepped on the scale, I actually lost 1.2 pounds this week. And that's a lot for me at this stage of weight loss that I'm in. I really don't have any weight to lose. I'm looking more to kind of maintain my weight until I have plastic surgery in May. I understand that I lost 1.2 pounds, but I'm betting that that's going to go back up this next week now that I'm back to eating normally, getting in my workouts, making sure that I'm not in too severe of a calorie deficit. But sometimes life happens and losing weight can be a result of that. But you also have to understand that it's likely that that number is going to change and maybe go back up a little bit when you go back to eating normal, so to speak. So I'll take the 1.2 weight loss, definitely not on the best terms, definitely not something I even really intended. And it'll be interesting to see what happens this next week if that number jumps back up a little bit, which I kind of expect it to do. And like I said, I'm completely okay with that. It's more important to me to make sure that I'm nourishing my body and fueling my metabolism while I finish out this last little bit of my weight loss journey. So of course I wanna hear from you guys. How was your week? How was your weigh-in? What are your thoughts on weight gain, versus weight fluctuation? And does that number on the scale really dictate your life? And what are you going to do to make that not happen in the future? And again, thank you so much for all of your love and condolences to our family. It means the world to us. And if you enjoyed today's video, of course, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I do a weigh-in every Friday. And like I said, I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And we'd love to have you join our Facebook group. You can keep up with me a little bit more day-to-day -day there. It's free. It's supportive. It's really a great place to be. So come on over and join us. Thank you for watching. Happy Friday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.